And tonight we're digging into the push to eliminate the grocery tax in Oklahoma. For years now, the legislature has been at odds over nixing the tax, even after pressure from the governor to get rid of it. The issue is now back on the table. Just this week, the president pro tem of the Senate filed a bill hoping to finally get it across the finish line this session. Fox 25's Capitol reporter Peyton May brings us the latest. Oklahomans are carrying the baggage of a 4.5% sales tax on items you take off the shelves. It hits your, your working families uh, much more than anyone else. And for years, the legislature hasn't been able to agree on cutting the price tag. The efforts to eliminate the state tax started in the Senate and stopped before the House. You know, I passed it two sessions ago and they chose not to advance it. But then took off in the House and halted in the Senate. It wasn't until special session when you, they signed it died after passing a bunch of them. So. And now the president pro tem of the Senate is trying again. It's the same exact thing that I've tried to do for a couple of years now to eliminate the state portion of the grocery sales tax. So people will still see a local tax if this passes on groceries, but the state portion, the 4.5% would be eliminated if this passes. Even with city and town sales taxes protected in his bill's language, there's no guarantee his caucus will let the state eat an over $300 million yearly revenue stream. No, this is Greg Treat's priority. So this is not a caucus position. This is not something that we came out of caucus retreat as a caucus and said we want to do this. It's something that I personally believe in. But for a policy that's gained bipartisan support, the pro tem says it's about time it's done. I think most Oklahomans agree that it needs to be eliminated, uh, but we'll see uh, what, what uh, transpires over the next uh, few months. Reporting for Fox 25 News, I'm Peyton May. The House hasn't released their version of a grocery tax elimination bill yet, but they've previously voted multiple times to get rid of it. Oklahoma is one of only a dozen states that tax groceries. It provides significant revenue for the state and repealing it would cost the state more than $300 million annually. A 2022 poll by Amber integrated of 500 likely voters found 78% of people supported eliminating the grocery tax. GOP led efforts to nix the grocery tax, getting some Democratic support. We spoke with one Tulsa lawmaker who says those on both sides want to see this go through. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from the Capitol. Tom, it seems like there may be some rare agreement apart across party lines here. Adam and Wendy, that's correct. Debates can get pretty heated here at the Capitol, but there does seem to be some interest in coming together on this one. Groceries, you have to buy them and they're getting more expensive. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the inflation rate for groceries was 2.1% year over year in October. Tulsa Democrat Melissa Provenzano is hopeful a grocery tax cut comes to Oklahoma. Thinking about those families that are working to put food on the table, um, this gets them a little further, you know, down the road and a few more things in their pantry. Provenzano says the state can lose its grocery tax, but local governments should be able to keep theirs. It's been filed by Democrats and Republicans every single year for the last two or three years. Another Republican on board is the Oklahoma governor. He's called for the tax cut in the past and told us Thursday in a statement, quote, it's the most regressive tax we have and Oklahomans need relief. And grocery stores love it. Working families love it. Individuals love it. There's no reason why we can't do this. Uh, we are sitting on $5 billion in our savings. The Association of Central Oklahoma Governments is urging caution, though, saying the tax cut could have a cascading effect that ends up with all sales taxes eventually gone, gutting city and town budgets and services. And we'll have the governor's and the ACOG's full statements on our website, okcfox.com. Live at the Capitol, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News. All right, Tom, thank you. The push for this tax cut goes back several years. Democrats in the legislature were the first to propose eliminating the grocery tax. That was in May of 2021. It was part of their budget proposal, but it didn't make it through. In early 2022, Senate Pro Tem Greg Treat introduced a bill that would end the state grocery tax, but it never crossed the finish line. Both the House and Senate had measures to do away with the tax last year, but ultimately grocery tax cuts were not included in the state budget. 
In May of 2022, Governor Stitt vetoed parts of the state budget passed by the House and Senate. He said instead of meaningful tax reform, the plan only gave Oklahomans $75 inflation checks. The governor then called for a special session for lawmakers to eliminate the state grocery tax and cut the income tax rate. Families, they need real relief right now, not political gimmicks. Oklahoma is one of only 13 states that taxes groceries. Ours is also one of the highest. That special session began in June 2022, but with the House and Senate at odds over inflation relief measures, no tax cut deal was reached. The House passed bills that would cut personal income tax and the grocery tax, but the Senate had a different approach, creating an inflation relief task force. I think working families in Oklahoma need immediate relief and they don't need legislators to spend six months navel gazing trying to figure out what the appropriate plan might be for the future. Senate leaders also claim they couldn't vote on those measures and after the House's final adjournment, but both House leadership told us House leadership, excuse me, told us that's not true. Now fast forward to September of last year, lawmakers were called into special session again to divide up the state's $1.8 billion of federal pandemic relief funds, and the governor was still calling on them to cut the grocery tax. It's something the House was on board for, but the Senate was not. Uh, we're ready. We would go in and cut the grocery sales grocery tax uh, tomorrow. We would do it yesterday. We would do it last week. Uh, we do the same with the income tax cut. The Senate is going to continue to be focused on long term, solid tax reform, update to the tax code, uh, which is something we haven't done in Oklahoma in, in way too long. And so we're going to continue to keep our eyes on a, on a very far horizon and not, not a short term grocery tax bill. The legislature did pass a few grocery tax bills in 2022, but those never made it to the finish line. Governor Stitt also talked about sweeping tax cuts in his state of the state address before the start of session this year. With our fiscal discipline, economic growth, and our record savings, let's make a significant statement that Oklahoma is here to stay on the national stage. The time is now. We need to keep the momentum going. Let's cut taxes. In my executive budget, I am proposing to eliminate Oklahoma's state grocery tax. And, and reduce our personal income tax rate to 3.99%. These cuts will save each family in Oklahoma hundreds of dollars each year. But this April, the governor held a press conference where he unveiled his tax reform plan. But a month later, he was disappointed that the session ended without those tax cuts, including a grocery tax cut. Fast forward to this September, the governor called another special session for tax reform, but this time the grocery tax cut was not part of the agenda. The Senate ended up gaveling out with nothing passed. And that was your big story breakdown tonight. You can find more on the push to eliminate the state grocery tax on OKCFox.com. If you missed any part of the big story breakdown, you find it all on our YouTube channel. Scan the QR code on your screen or search OKCFox.